Hello, what's up guys? Extreme London fans. I'm today I'm here with the video. Some of you guys were asking. They were asking how I I always get these uh, small digits about soft touching. Uh, how do I make this perfect challenge? Mostly with the first attempt. Not even something I repeated uh, several times. So today I will demonstrate. Uh, and let's go into work. Okay, according to my experience of playing extreme landings, what I have realized is the only way to make the best soft touch, the best yeah, soft touch landing, is by using the crosswind landing techniques. I have tried other methods like methods like the normal uh, timing touchdown, but I was not successful as much as I was as I was when using the crosswind landing techniques. Okay, here I am with a different scenario, not that one with the zero point uh, negative zero point two to show you how to make it, to make yeah to make it real. So it's a different scenario. The crosswind is eighteen knots, and let me s let's see how I perform this one with the crosswind. As you can see, this is the first attempt with this scenario. Wish me good luck, my first attempt. Let me see how I perform. Okay, we should start the. The checklist early enough the landing gear down uh reduce the throttle to about a third and what we need to make is we don't need much of flaps we don't need to deploy the flaps fully for this air for this specific aircraft we need to have the flaps around one and a half to two degrees okay in a crosswind landing, what you what you doing in effect is using the bank to con uh, to make the aircraft uh, drift into the wind just enough just enough to counter the crosswind and keep you in the uh, in the center line of the runway. The trick to crosswind landing is using just enough bank to keep the aircraft. From drifting left or right and and using just the radar pressure it takes to keep the nose of the aircraft aligned with the center of the runway so here we go about to touch down what we need is just enough radar pressure and line up then 10, 10 degree pitch up and there you go we have made it it's two point something yeah not bad so the trick about this is touching down with one main landing gear, not both. If you touch down with both, mainly it's like a normal timing without crosswind and without any other technique, just normal landing. So the trick is touch down with one landing gear. Remember what I've said. I have not said it's must to have a crosswind. I just said you need to apply the techniques of a crosswind landing. What you simply need to do is be applying a radar pressure. And one of your wings should be pointing, should be banged, whether the right one or the left one. And that main landing gear, the one with the left, uh, with the bank sided, should be the first one you are touching with the ground. So to prove this method works, you can see this is another another challenge. Uh, this challenge there is no crosswind, so I just uh, used it to demonstrate that there is no, uh, there must not be a crosswind. You just need to be using the radar and should be banged uh, to either left or right and your one of your main landing gears should touch down first there you go again brilliant result okay guys bye bye thanks for watching uh keep the questions here and i will be making videos about any question you forward okay bye bye guys if you want more videos, go to my YouTube channel at Captain Kim. Bye bye.